Hello, algebra students in uh, all classes, not just uh, mine. Uh, this is the uh, video lesson and notes for assignment six, where your main job is to uh, write equations, excuse me, write equations of lines, y equals mx plus b form, when you're given all kinds of different information to start the problem off. So let's review what we already know. Here's the section of assignment, of course, that we're working on. What we know by now throughout the whole chapter is that line equations are going to look like y equals mx plus b. And in that equation, the m is your slope and the b is your y-intercept. I would like you to be aware of the fact that I am taking these problems right from the assignment. But of course, when you get them, the numbers are different. But the point is, you get six questions on your assignment, and uh, they kind of come in pairs. Two of them are like my first example. Then the next two questions, three and four, are like my second example. And then the third, or excuse me, questions five and six, the final pair is like my last example. Okay, so this perfectly aligns with what your assignment's going to be, and it should be uh, very helpful for you. So let's look at the first case where the problem that you're doing gives you the slope and the y-intercept, and your job is to find the equation, right? So what if you're told for a certain problem that the slope is negative 5 and the y-intercept is negative 4? I feel like this problem is almost insulting your intelligence because, come on, if they give you both of the ingredients that go in the equation, then it's just a matter of putting the number in the right spot. If the slope is negative 5, that's our m. So we'll say y equals negative 5 in the m spot in front of the x and the y-intercept is negative four, simply goes in the back as your b, and that one's done. Again, not particularly challenging. Um, so let's move on to the next one right away. Case B, what if the problem gives you the slope, but they give you some other point that isn't the y-intercept? So for example, what if you're told that the slope of some new line is negative three, and that the line that you're looking for passes through the kind of random point 4 comma negative 18. This is not the y-intercept, right? So we can't just go to the answer right away. But we do have the slope given to us for free. So if I'm writing down my equation, I can put the negative 3 in the m spot. But notice how I'm still putting plus b at the end because we don't know what it is. Well, let's think about the point that we're given. When someone tells us a point, they're basically telling us an x and a y. Every point is x first and y second. So what they've done for us by telling us this point is given us an x value and a y value that we can plug into our equation here. And if I do that, watch what happens. Negative 18 is the y number. Remember, we had the slope given to us already. And then 4 is the x value. Notice the parentheses here. It's negative 3 times the x number, so the parentheses make it look more like a multiplication problem. So I remember to do the multiplying. And then we still have the plus b. But if you look now, the b is the only thing left for us to find. So if everything else is number values, then pretty soon we're going to know what B is with just a little um, couple more steps. Okay, So to finish this off, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. And now I want you to treat this just like a, um, uh, a typical equation to solve. You know, usually you're solving for X, we're solving for B. Uh, what I would do is simply add 12 to both sides. And I would learn that b equals negative 6. Sorry for, sorry for butting right up to the, uh, the next problem. Draw the line so we can keep them apart. But b is negative 6. Therefore, I now know how to completely write my line equation 
the negative 3x we already knew, and our b, our y-intercept, we had to work for it, but now we know it's negative 6, and that equation is done. Last but not least, what if the problem that you're doing only gives you two points? They don't give you the slope for free. They just give you two random points that the line goes through. Okay. Well, in the previous assignment, in the previous lesson, you learned a trick for finding the slope between two points. You've already been taught this. It is the y values subtracted from each other, right? Nine minus three, I'm gonna do them in that order. And then over the x values subtracted in the same order. So since I went nine minus three, now I must do two minus negative one. Nine minus three is six. Remember, minus a negative is just a plus, so this is two plus one, or three. And six divided by three is two. So good news, we now have our slope. We're not done with the problem, but if you think about it, aren't we in exactly the same position now that we were in letter B because we know the slope and we know not just one point, we know two points that this line goes through. So we really are exactly in the same position we were on the previous problem. And you can pick either of these two points. After all, the line goes through both of them. So what difference does it make which one we choose? Personally, I would choose the one that had more positive numbers. But again, you could easily use this one too. So remember, this is x and y. Here's our slope, our m, right? So we can plug all this in. y equals m times x. It's just a coincidence that the slope and the x value are the same thing. Just a coincidence, okay? y equals mx plus b. And we'll just do the same kind of work we did up here. 2 times 2 is 4. One little simple algebra step of subtracting 4 from both sides. And we learned that b equals 5. So our equation can now be written out fully. y equals, there's our slope from before, and then our b value we just figured out right here. And this last one is done. So these problems kind of, they, they were, there was more work to do in each of them as the examples went on, correct? This was basically everything given to you. Here, one thing was given to you, one thing you had to figure out yourself. And here you had to figure out both the slope and the y-intercept, okay? But hopefully you find this to be um, not too difficult of an assignment. And thank you very much for your time and attention.